it should talk about all of the different genes. It'll have a list of all the ones that were looked at, and then it'll talk about any abnormalities. Sometimes there's specific actionable mutations where we know what to do, and sometimes the mutations, we don't know what it means, but it might be information that'll be useful in another year or two or three as more things are learned. And those are called variants of unknown significance. And sometimes they really are unknown significance. They don't mean anything, but sometimes they might be useful for some point in the future. So one thing I wanted to mention, as we think about biomarkers, some biomarkers come back quickly. Those are those protein tests, or we call immunohistochemistry, like pdl one That can come back in a day or two. The next gen sequencing, that more comprehensive DNA analysis, that can take two to three weeks. So you can imagine that's hard to wait for those results, but really important to have that and not act just on the pdl one result. The liquid biopsies often can come back in about a week. Um, and so with the liquid biopsy, especially if it's a comprehensive next gen sequencing, that can get you all of the information you need to know how to best treat the tumor even faster.